Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe. According to multiple sources, Trump, if you watched our video earlier, is leading in Pennsylvania. But we have other toss-up states now. A map that we haven't quite seen before where the uh, toss-up states are two of them out of the 50. Usually it's five, six, or seven. Now we have two toss-up states. So let's get this map filled in. Washington with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with eight electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Hawaii with four electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Montana with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, according to multiple sources, with its six electoral votes, is a toss-up. It's flip-flop between light blue, deep blue, light red, red, and obviously a toss-up. So it will not be colored in. Utah, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico with five electoral votes is light blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska, the state, is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district is red for Donald J. Trump. The second district is blue for Kamala Harris. Nebraska at large, AL2, is red for Donald J. Trump. Kansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma, with seven electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas, with 40 electoral votes, is light red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Wisconsin, being a toss-up battleground state, is currently polling Red for Donald J. Trump. Michigan with 15 electoral votes will not be colored in. It is a toss-up once more, according to multiple sources. Iowa with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri with 10 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with eight electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois, with 19 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Indiana, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio, with 17 electoral votes, is light red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. Kentucky, with eight electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. West Virginia, with four electoral votes, red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama, with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida, with 30 electoral votes, is light red for Donald J. Trump. Georgia, according to several polls, is leaning red for Donald J. Trump. He's had a 1 point to 1.5 lead for two weeks now. The 16 electoral votes are red for Donald J. Trump. South Carolina with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina has flip-flopped back and forth for the last several weeks. It has Trump with a less than one point lead. The 16 electoral votes are red for Donald J. Trump. Virginia with 13 electoral votes is light blue for Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania has Trump in the lead by 0.8. Two, less than a percent, therefore grabbing him the sacred 19 electoral votes he would need to win the election. Pennsylvania is currently red for Donald J. Trump. Maine, 
the state at large is red for Donald J. Trump. And M-E-A-L-2 is red for Donald J. Trump. And the 1st District of Maine is blue for Kamala Harris. The rest of the states, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and the rest are all blue for Kamala Harris. This would put Donald Trump at 293 electoral votes, grabbing him the election in a landslide to Kamala Harris's 224. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bag. And we are out.